vision for all Filipinos. A round of applause, please, for World Bank Services International's founding chairman, Mr. Joseph. His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcus Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, represented by former Congressman Harry Ampi, Senator Mark Miller, Department of Public Works and Highways, Secretary Manuel Bonuan, represented by Honor Secretary Maria Catalina Cabral, government officials, members of the diplomatic force, royal executors, bio media partners, friends and associates, Ladies and gentlemen, back in 1996, World Bank started with a vision to host the largest building and design exposition in the country. A dream that was built on propping the industry, a platform to showcase the latest technologies and developments available in the market. Fast forward to 2022, World Bank surpassed that vision by becoming the leading largest exposition not just in the Philippines but across Southeast Asia. I am greatly humbled to share this momentous success with all of you, our partners who have devoted their expertise and knowledge in becoming the pillars of innovation that is globally recognized. Indeed, we have come a long way. The Philippines has witnessed the most advanced development in infrastructure and transportation, the growing number of investors to real estate and businesses, dignifiedly extend by the day. The influx of the tourists and the visitors continue to grow despite the global pandemic along with the latest pro progress in the transportation expansions. The Philippines is definitely on its way to become one of Asian building giants. These opportunities allow us to further and chance our pledge to the nation, providing a safe space to showcase the Filipino innovations to the world. It is our legacy built. This is World Bank ready to become the new generations of the innovative forces and nurture new breed of imaginative powers. World Bank's 25 years of commitment today, tomorrow, and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, I officially welcome you to World Bank 2022. Join you this morning to personally convey to you her um, 
warmest greetings and welcome. But currently, she's with a commission sa Wikang Filipino to receive personally an award from the agency bilang Senyo ng Kausayan sa Servisyo Publiko 2022. But nonetheless, she sent me to read to you uh, her message today. But before that, I would like to recognize the presence of our the representative of His Excellency, our President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., former Congressman Harry Angping, sir, Honorable Senator Mark Villar, Secretary Manuel Bonoan of the Department of Public Works and Highways, represented by Yusef Maria Catalina Cabral. Mr. Joseph Ang, the founding chairman of WSI. Ms. Levy Ang, architect Francisco Flamengo Jr. Ms. Jill Ang, Mr. Rene Ramos. Once again, good morning, everyone. Dream big and reach for the sky. This is what comes to mind when I hear the world begs. The world begs. This is where ideas and imagination come to make innovative designs, inspire and hope. Let me congratulate you on the 25 years of turning dreams into reality. For the past two years, the pandemic has rendered us crippled due to the constraints that held us back from events such as this. Fortunately, we find ourselves all here now healthy and happy, excited to experience the iconic and indelible artistry and craftsmanship, as well as technologically advanced innovations that World Bank has in store for us. One of the things that excites our visitors, certainly, would be the timely shift towards going green, environmentally sound construction and infrastructure, are at the forefront of our grand vision of Pasay City and our trust to become the first ever eco city in the Philippines. With World Bets, it has truly proved time and again that in the field of construction, arts, and innovation, the path to take is always onward and upward, never stepping back to what was, but rather always taking a step forward towards modern advancements that will serve our consumers and the whole citizenry. I believe all of us here share the same sentiments that World Bank is indeed a pioneer and will always be one. We are excited for the future because World Bank does not only pave the way for infrastructure and construction. At the end of the day, the exposition paves the way for dreams that in turn develop into a technologically, environmentally aware, culturally sensitive, and innovative reality. Thank you once again and all the best to World Bex. A round of applause, please. And go on, please welcome Under Secretary Maria Catalina Cabra. Um, Philippine World Building and Construction Exposition and after two years of pandemic, we're now all here face to face. I'd also like to greet the organizers, especially Mr. Joseph Ahn, that met you a couple of years ago. Then I was representing my former boss. Now I'm representing my current boss, Secretary Manny Mani Bonohan. So organizers, exhibitors, visitors, and members of the uh, members of the uh, uh, WSI officers, as well as diplomatic board. Of course, uh, former Kong Ambin, I've worked with you before. Uh, my former boss, and now my new boss, because he's the senior vice chair of the Commission, Committee on Public Works at the Senate, Sec Sec 
Saint Mark, how do I call you, sir? Um, welcome, good morning to everyone. I'd like to give you the speech of Secretary uh, Noan, who was supposed to be personally here, but he has to attend another very important meeting with the Department of Finance. So uh, without further ado, allow me to read this message and I quote. The most sought after building and construction trade event in the country is finally back on the ground after two years of online gatherings due to global pandemic. This is a welcome development considering the significance of this exposition in the country's infrastructure thrust. Not only is infrastructure the backbone of economic development, and it's very vital in ensuring the productivity of our communities. It is also a key to economic recovery post-pandemic. The marching order of President Bongo Marcos during the State of the Nation address under his new leadership, the infrastructure development program will be pursued relentlessly. The government will continue what has been started under the Build, Build, Build program of the past administration and must not only continue, but whatever possible, and whenever possible, be expanded. Infrastructure development spending will be sustained if not exceed 5 to 6 percent of the gross domestic fund. The infrastructure program will support national government efforts to push the revival of the economy, which is lumped, which is lumped due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This is the foundation that will build upon the economic recovery. As the President pronounced, we must keep the momentum and aspire to build better, build more, build better more, and faster. World Bank 2022 calls the support of everyone to this infrastructure development agenda of President Marcus. Trust to build better more and sustaining the momentum of the construction industry. And your Department of Public Works and Highways will continue to effectively and efficiently deliver our mandate to provide quality, sustainable, and resilient infrastructure that are responsive to the needs of the Filipino people in pursuit of national development goals based on strategic infrastructure programs. Given the country's vulnerability to geological hazards, DPWH will continue to implement various programs that will make our communities livable, sustainable, and resilient. And we will intensify our efforts to combat disaster risk through flood mitigation projects, bridge seismic improvement projects, as well as construction and evacuation centers all over the country. We are going to support the promotion of zero carbon footprint by promoting active transport. The interagency partnerships of DPWH, among other government agencies and local government units, will be further strengthened through our regional development program under our convergence and rural road development program. This will facilitate the implementation of local infrastructure, particular, particularly road that will access, such as uh, access to tourism, key areas and sectors that will support agriculture, trade, industry cluster, micro and small medium enterprises, including tourism development areas. Integrated and seamless transport systems will enhance inter-island connectivity through the construction of short and long span bridges all over the country. We, it will involve the improvement of logistic infrastructure network as well as in Mindanao and other major islands in the country. The Inter-Island Linkage Mega Bridge Program of DPWH intends to connect the various islands of the country through building the short and long span bridges. And this will amount, this will, uh, this will uh, amount to about 80 kilometers in length. We also have the Traffic Decongestion Program that focuses on the improvement and expansion of the National Road Network by building more bypasses, diversion roads, including high standard highways and expressways, again, in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. We have our Metro Manila Logistic Improvement Program that involves the construction and improvement of bridges across the River, 
Marikina River, and Mancaan flood. And the flagship project of DPWH, which has been started in the past, is the Philippine High Standard Highway Network Program, which we, could, which we will continue relentlessly. And this will be expanded based on the recently completed master plan of high standard highway uh, development all over the country in the Philippines. And uh, this will expand not only in Luzon, but as well as in Visayas and Mindanao. We intend to increase the country's high standard network expressways from the current 500 plus kilometers of high standard highways to more than 1,800 kilometers once we finish this flagship project. This is the Luzon Spine Expressway Network. This will involve more than 1,200 plus kilometers of expressways and highways, not only in Luzon, but also in Visayas and Mindanao. And once we finish all of this, particularly the ones in Luzon, travel time from Ilocos all the way to Bicol will be reduced from 20 hours to just about 9 hours. Secretary Mani Bonohan, we are now ramping up the implementation of various flagship projects that will bring the country to the forefront of economic development. More benefits to the Filipino people to ensure that business gains that we have gained in the past will continue through movers in the industry, particularly, you know, I'd like to mention Worldex. You have been very supportive of the construction industry. And the physical staging of this event, the 25th uh, anniversary thing, will now be the manifestation of, of the uh, intention of the uh, government to push the construction industry further. I wish that we will all help together help government because all of us here right now are major players. We are gathered here together with the business people as well as the uh, as well as the government leaders here, so that we will be able to push the infrastructure development of the Philippines as we are now back in the forefront. Indeed, it is truly nice to meet everyone in person and like again to greet all the leaders of the industry. I'd like again to greet, uh, especially of course, Tom Dean and my former boss. May we all have fun. Uh, this, this morning as we open the 25th the World Bex anniversary. Thank you and we're going to have a Our hardworking, the resilient Senator Mark A. Villa. Si Mark kahilig lang pero susigaw lang Meron pang ganyan eh. Alam, parang hindi pa tapos ang tapahan na eh. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. It's, it's, it's really an honor for me to be here after um, two long years. Actually, the, I'm actually a regular in this uh, in this uh, event. At uh, baka hindi nyo po alam dati, nagpapalakas ako kay Mr. Ang. Uh, before I became, uh, when I was in the private sector, uh, I used to sell paving blocks. And uh, back in the day, I used to, uh, abang... Ano, nagpapalakas sa English. <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to suck up to, uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ang, uh, in order to get a good area here in, uh, in World Dex. So, uh, malapit talaga sa puso ko ang World Dex. At, uh, hanggang ngayon, boss ko pa rin si Mr. Ang. So, Mr. Joseph Ang, thank you, sir. Congratulations on the very successful event. And I think, uh, because of your vision, even after two years of COVID, the World Dex is still very strong and very healthy. So congratulations, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you. And of course, uh, representing our uh, our president, uh, uh, Ferdinand Bongbong, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., uh, very close family friend. I call him Tito Harry, uh, former congressman Harry Alpin. And of course, uh, my... Uh, very familiar, and I'm very familiar with this presentation. Uh, and I'm very happy that the Build, Build, Build uh, Enterprise will be continued now under the Build, Build, uh, Build Better More of President Marcos. I'm happy to see that uh, the infrastructure program, the golden age of infrastructure, is still in good shape, especially with our new president expressing his support for infrastructure. So I am very confident and very bullish 
uh, on the prospect. So I'd like to greet the uh, uh, Secretary Kathy Cabral. Seeing you brings back such good memories of, uh, of the department. Welcome. And on behalf of uh, Secretary Bonohan. And of course, um, the co-founder, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Levy Ang, welcome po. Uh, all the members of the Diplomatic Corps, welcome. It's good to see you again. Again, it's good to see everyone face to face. From the office of uh, Mayor Rubiano, Mr. Peter Eric Pardo, welcome. And I'd like to keep my message brief. I know everyone's excited to see what's inside those doors. So I'd just like to thank the World Bex uh, International, the World Bex Services International, for inviting me to your opening ceremony as you celebrate 25 years. 25 years, what an accomplishment. Even if our situation is challenging, that didn't stop us from having this gathering where we can channel our common goals and aspirations to creating the best blueprints, plans, and actions for designing world-class structures. With that, I am honored to join you all today as we welcome another milestone from World Bex. It is truly a privilege to speak in the presence of institutions for design and construction that epitomize the core values of the profession and public service to the people. By gathering and uniting the biggest household names in the building and construction industry, World Best truly represents remarkable accomplishments in the Philippine trade industry. As a former Secretary of the Construction Arm of Government, I recognize the significant contributions of your organization to our country's journey towards the golden age of infrastructure and now the Build Better More program. This program that could contribute millions of jobs. During the build, build, build of the previous administration, 6.5 million jobs were generated through the government's infrastructure program. I don't need to repeat, uh, I think Kathy did a very good job of outlining, of outlining the projects that we have. I think these are, the pro these are game changing projects. Those bridges she mentioned are some of the longest bridges, not in, this, not in just the Philippines, but also the world. So in the next six years of this administration, we will complete infrastructure projects that were unprecedented in the history of this country. That's why all the more now it's important that we have events like the World Dex in order for us to increase our knowledge of construction materials and to see and to feed the golden age of infrastructure, the build better more of our president. The legacy of World Dex is truly undeniable as it is one of the contributors to revitalizing and strengthening our construction and infrastructure program. I am confident that this event will beget necessary resolutions to the challenges that are prevalent in the industry and in our country. On a personal level, I'd like to say to all of you, thank you for so much for the past two years. We've had a very difficult time, but together we we're able to get through it. And the fact that we're standing here today in this World Bex after two years is testimony to the resilience of the Filipino people. And like all of you, I am optimistic in the next six years, we will have an unprecedented growth in infrastructure under the leadership of our president, President Ferdinand Valdez Marcos Jr. Congratulations and, uh, on this great event. And uh, good morning to you all. Maraming salamat. A round of applause, please, for Senator Mark Villar, former representative of Manila, former Congressman Harry Ampi. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lincoln. You know, this is my first time to represent the president. And I've delivered thousands of speeches. But I'm kind of nervous right now because there are a lot of protocols that have to be adopted. Okay? First, let me acknowledge the presence of His Excellency Peter Francis Kell, our Ambassador of New Zealand to the Philippines. We have His Excellency Martina Sintovitzoa Rabdede Nesitense, Ambassador of South Africa to the Philippines. 
Thank you. We have His Excellency, Tal Raisorat, Ambassador of Thailand to the Philippines. We have His Excellency, Michel Paris, our Ambassador of Belgium to the Philippines. The founding chairman of World Bex and his better half, Joseph and Mrs. Ang. <laughs> Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Senator Mark Villar, his close family friend, Under Secretary Maria Catalina Cabral, the Chief of Staff of the Office of the Mayor, other distinguished guests, I have to acknowledge all the media representatives because if I don't do that, our pictures will, not, will be in the inside pages. But since I acknowledge them, please tell your editors the picture must be in the front pages. Okay? I have two parts. The first part, I have two parts. The first part, I have to read the official speech of the President and allow me to give a little thoughts of myself. Due to the urgent and pressing matters of the state, His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. will not be able to join us today for this event. Nevertheless, the President expresses his heartfelt gratitude for your invitation and looks forward to joining you in future events should circumstances permit. As his representative, it is my honor of reading his message to you all. My warmest greetings to all guests, participants, organizers of the 25th Philippine World Building and Construction Exposition. As we emerge from the economic energy caused by global pandemic the past two years, the nation looks to construction industry as a reliable partner inspiring the resurgence of our economy moving forward. That is why I welcome the annual gathering of construction and design companies to showcase the latest products, innovations, and developments in the construction industry, as well as upcoming trends in construction, urban planning, and project management. May this event spark new ideas among stakeholders to raise standards in the industry and adapt the many advanced, low-cost, sustainable, eco-friendly technologies, strategies, and designs. May it also feature the best quality of products and services that our construction companies can offer to the global market. It is my hope that this venue will become a platform of knowledge, sharing, and networking among infrastructure architectural companies, as well as conducive environment and for local and international companies to forge ties and collaborate in values, productive endeavors. As we embark on promising projects in this time of the new normal, I expect that you will generate opportunities that will strengthen not only our economy, but also our society as a whole. Even as I assure you of this administration's unqualified support in your every pursuit, so it is also my hope that you will join us in our build better, more infrastructure program in building a better and brighter future for every Philippines. I wish you all the best 
and may you have a fruitful and productive garden. Maraming salamat, mabuhay kayong lahat. A round of applause for former Congressman Harry Conte. Oh, sorry, not quite done yet. This ends the official message of the President. <laughs> and may I share a little thought. Let me congratulate Joseph and his wife. He was telling me he started this with the encouragement of the late, very famous architect Manuel Go. And he was only 25, only. So we're celebrating two anniversaries. The 25th anniversary and the golden anniversary of his age. Okay? So after this, you're all invited to East Ocean for your lunch. <laughs> Uh, you know, I started exhibition business a long time ago. That's why exhibition business is very really close to me. And I was telling Jose, I hope I can convince the president to build a new exhibition center here across, in front of Sofitel, in front of World Trade, two hectares. A big exhibition center that can house double the number of exhibitors here. I've been to exhibitions in Singapore, Hong Kong. You know, two floors, three floors, thousands of square meters. Well, it's really about time the Philippines adopts that kind of research. And both have three to four hotels. Business from hotel, boutique hotel, so it's all walking distance. You know, from the hotel to the exhibition, they can talk to prospective investors and uh, buyers. So, our the members of the diplomatic board, we look forward to your participation, maybe not next year, another year. I hope I can convince the person to put up a multi level. Exhibition Center with a couple of events. And uh, again, thank you very much. And let's move inside and start our shopping. Okay? Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Father Congressman Jr. and Director Mr. Rene Ramos. Thank <laughs> you. 
ribbon so that we all join together as a message of support and continued partnership. Shall we start the timer in the back? Everybody take a look at the screen. Timer on the screen please. Let's count it down together for the official opening of World Bex's 25th year. Timer ready?
Beautiful. So, jo, where's your boot? The sun boots more. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Kasih apa bah? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, now.